We don't usually begin with sport. In fact, I think this may be a first, but Kiwis coach David Kidwell has just announced that in battle, Kiwis captain Jesse Bromwich, Bromwich and Kevin Proctor, both of whom play for Australian clubs in the NRL too, of course, will not be considered for the New Zealand team in the upcoming World Cup at a media conference, which is still going on, I think, in Sydney. It began at 5 o'clock our time, 3 o'clock theirs. Kidwell said the pair had values to uphold and had broken his trust. He said they had also let down the public. It comes, of course, after they were allegedly caught buying cocaine after um, outside a Canberra nightclub, sorry, just hours after being really trounced in Friday night's Anzac Day test um, against the Australians. We're joined on the phone now, I think, by former Kiwis coach Graham Lowe, who coached the Kiwis to victory over Australia in 1983, if I remember correctly, Graham, and also coached Wigan to great success in, in the British League competition. Are you there? Yes, yes, John. It's nice to talk to you because we pre-recorded an interview on this earlier today, not knowing that this announcement was coming up, and I asked you what you think should happen to the players, yeah. and you and you said what? Yeah, I, I said they shouldn't be considered. They, they just can't be considered for this campaign. So, right. terrific, terrific news I just heard what, you say. What, why is it terrific news? What's terrific about that? Because it's, you know, they are good players, but you've got to put a line in the sand, and it doesn't just because you can catch the ball and run fast and tackle doesn't mean to say you should be exempt from um, from behaviour that's not acceptable. And, and also, it doesn't mean that you can disrespect the, the history of the game and the guardianship that you hold while you're playing it. It's a tough one, isn't it? Because, uh, and we're about to speak to Ray Warren. We pre-recorded an interview with Ray Warren that we are going to play. And Ray says, look, if these guys were plumbers, we wouldn't even know that they'd been caught at such a small amount of cocaine and all that. But are you saying that when you wear the black jersey, when you earn your living playing rugby league, and when you are a role model for young people, the bar is higher? Yeah, the bar is higher. Well, quite apart from the, the alleged uh, cocaine situation, to be out after 5 o'clock in the morning celebrating after being flogged the night before... I mean, that is absolute disrespect at its, high, at its highest. The Kiwis coach has had a tough old time, hasn't he? Did, did he need to declare that he is the boss here? In other words, there is a sense that there has been a bit of player power at all levels of rugby league in New Zealand. Is this a declaratory line in the stand by, by, by league bosses? Oh, I, th I, I think it's a milestone in David Kidwell's career. Really, it's that big. I, I think it is because he's, you know, he, he, he's, uh, you know, know, knows those guys really well. Um, he's good mates with them, I'm sure. And to and to draw the line in, in, in the sand that he's done is not easy. I, I know, I, I know what he would have faced. It's not easy, but he's put a far bigger picture ahead of what could be a short-term game. You, um, Graham, when you were coaching the Kiwis experience, you beat them and you beat a really good Australian team in 83, if I recall, at, at Langs Park, right? Is that, is yeah, that here? Yeah. here? But you also uh, felt, experienced the other side, which was losing to the buggers. H how do you deal with that? Do you go out and drown your sorrows like these boys were doing? What do you do after the losses? Well, you've got to, you know, there's different types of losses as well to, to keep it in perspective. I mean, that was a pretty bad loss that they had on, on um, Friday night. But if you lose when and you go down with all guns blazing, there's a different perspective on it. But whether you win or lose, there are guidelines you don't go across. And one of them is being... It's totally... I don't care what, what they'd won. It doesn't... It still doesn't uh, allow you... To, or shouldn't allow you to go out till 5 o'clock in the morning celebrating when you've got people... You're, you're in the public eye... And you've got, you're under the microscope. I mean, you've got to have some responsibility. Graham Lowe, thanks for joining us. Graham Lowe, who said when we spoke to him earlier today that the guys shouldn't be picked um, for the Rugby League World Cup. They haven't been picked. Uh, as Graham Lowe says, a really strong line in the sand there from the NZRL, New Zealand Rugby League. All of this is just unfolding in Sydney as we speak.